When I started this job um, 13 years ago, I was positioned in all five buildings and we had 17 students from K through 12th grade. It has evolved much over the years, both in the hours that I spend with the kids, as well as I'm now positioned in just one building. And we have 40 students in just the K through two at this point. I have been here at the primary school for um, two years now. This is my second year. Um, prior to that though, I was over at the Head Start um, program where I was um, an EL tutor first, and then the second year over there, I was a TA. I do know many of these children that we work with um, from when they were three years old on up, and um, it's been a pleasure to see them, how they grow and, and um, learn, and how they get excited about things still. We are really blessed at this building to be able to have the students join us um, in kindergarten. Um, that is obviously the, the most desired uh, route for the kids to come in because uh, everyone is entering on the same playing field. When you have an English language learner that's entering as a sophomore or a junior in high school, it's much more difficult. However, as a kindergarten um, student, you are all learning your ABCs, you're all learning similar things, so it's much easier. The great thing about kindergartners is that they are very inclusive of the new person that comes in. They want to include them in on every part of, of their play, their learning, their um, whole experience outside at recess um, or in gym class in the classroom. And that what, that's what makes things really special and neat to see how that friendship that they have um, with this new person coming in as an English language student um, helps them to grow and to learn that language that they are struggling to learn. Our position is EL Tutor with Salina Primary School. We work with kindergarten, first and second graders that are learning English as a second language. We work with the students within the classroom um, by going into the classroom, working one-on-one -on -one with them, um, along with the teacher's lesson. We also bring them out into the hallway and work with them one-on-one, -on -one, um, emphasizing different things that they would need to learn, um, either in the English language um, or uh, in math or different subjects like that. When I started this part-time position, I had no idea that I would still be here 13 years later, but I have loved the position, I love the children, I love the families. It is extremely challenging at times, not only with the language difference, but just with the needs of some of the families and kids, but it is the most rewarding job ever when it all comes together. And um, fortunately, we're able to see that happen quite often. Seeing the kids um, come in and want to give you a hug first thing in the morning uh, is always a perk in the morning when you come to, to school, um, especially when you're thinking about some of the challenges that you do face. Um, we have two children um, currently that do not know the language very well. Um, one is just arriving and um, knows no English. The other has been here since October and has learned some language uh, of the English language, but is needing more, but he still has a big smile on his face, and um, and it makes it makes those rewards um, intangible rewards. I've been fortunate to work with Cindy for the past two years. Um, I knew Cindy years ago when our kids were friends in preschool and went through school together, and it is so much fun to share our days together again. Um, getting to work with kids that are the same ages that ours were when we first met, so that has been a real joy. It has been a pleasure to work with Jill again. Um, we, we worked as volunteers with, with our kids. Um, our girls were in the same classes a lot of times growing up, and uh, so it's been great to, to come back and, and um, reconnect with her, um, working on things for these little ones that, that we truly care about. Salina City Schools has had many different countries represented over the years. The majority of our students come from the Marshall Islands. We've also had China, Peru, Mexico, and Africa. We've been blessed to meet many different kids from many different cultures and embrace those and bring some of their traditions and cultures into the classroom as well. My name is Cindy Bowser and I've been within the district for four years now and I have a husband who teaches over at the high school.
Mr. Bowser. Um, I have four children and three of them have graduated from Salina High School. One is a junior in high school right now at Salina. My name is Jill Harris and I grew up a Bulldog. I had a mom that worked in the district for 37 years, so it only seemed right that I would come back when my kids came to school and I've spent the last 13 and a half years as an EL tutor. I had two years before that as a substitute in the district. We love working with our Salina kids. Especially these little Bulldogs. Go dogs! Go dogs.